And welcome to Ozarks Fox News. Hope you enjoyed the NFL earlier tonight. I'm John Adams. And I'm Jennifer Abreu. Well, let's get started with your top headlines from around the nation. These stories are real new now. More than two dozen people accused of making threats to commit mass shootings have been arrested. This just after the incidents in El Paso and Dayton. A hotel cook in Long Beach joins that growing list. Walmart announced a permanent memorial at the shooting scene in El Paso. The CEO said he supports common sense gun control policies but did not pull guns off the shelves. The search for two firefighters who disappeared after boating in Florida has been called off. Firefighters Brian McClooney and Justin Walker were last seen <laughs> setting off from Cape Canaveral on Friday morning. Authorities say while the active search will be suspended, the Coast Guard will continue to work off the coast and monitor the area for any signs of those boaters. Worldwide outrage is growing over the record number of wildfires scorching Brazil's Amazon. Just this year, more than 74,000 blazes consuming the rainforest. The fires are up 84% from the same time last year. The burning of the world's largest tropical forest could have a major impact on global warming as the Amazon plays a huge role in countering climate change. We're making local news tonight. One group is asking for a change in current gun laws. The Springfield chapter of Moms Demand Action says the group isn't interested in taking away guns. Instead, the group says it's pushing for responsible gun ownership. Moms Demand Action says it wants an update to current background checks. Gene Knapp says doing this would eliminate a current loophole. The group says currently there are certain states where someone can skip a background check entirely by finding an unlicensed seller at a gun show or online. Knapp says Missouri is one of those states. If a person is law abiding, um, I, I don't know that these changes such as a background check for every sale uh, would affect them. And also, I would hope that they would understand that these laws are meant to save lives and keep people who shouldn't have guns, who are not law abiding, from getting guns. Covering crime tonight, a man has died after being stabbed last night in Springfield and a teen is in custody. 43-year-old Craig Dorser arrived at Cox North Hospital just after 930, but later died. Police responded to an incident on West Walnut Street at about 9 o'clock last night. Officers found what appeared to be blood on the ground nearby. Police have a suspect in custody in connection to this who is a juvenile. We'll continue to bring you updates on this story as we get them. Well, taking a look at news around the region tonight, Missouri is dealing with an outbreak of hepatitis A. Hundreds of cases have been reported, mostly in the southeastern part of the state. But health officials all over Missouri are keeping a close watch on the disease and taking necessary precautions. Our Crystal Blair spoke to the Taney County Health Department, who says the high-risk group has changed. 233 of the hepatitis A cases in Missouri have required hospitalization and there's been two reported deaths. Erica Engel is public health nurse for the Taney County Health Department. She says while food service workers are usually most at risk of contracting and spreading the disease, the CDC has released new high risk groups. The illicit drug users, uh, we're also seeing it in those who either work or have been uh, detained or in jail systems. As well as those who are homeless and males involved in same-sex relations. The biggest thing we can do is monitor and prevent any new cases because it is out there. And according to the CDC, the disease appears to be spreading through direct person-to-person -person contact. You know, you've heard of hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. It is the most infectious of the three because it can be foodborne and any contact with bodily fluid. Engel says they're actively reaching out to those most at risk in order to get them vaccinated. Megan Braun is a manager at a local restaurant. She says her workers are taking precautions. It's making sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to, keeping everything clean, keeping ourselves clean, washing our hands. With our employees, um, not having it, not knowing if they have it or not. Um, other places, even just eating other places. You know, anyone that is, works in the uh, food, we do often recommend that they go ahead and get that preventative hepatitis A. Health officials say washing your hands with warm soap and water, including under fingernails after using the restroom or changing diapers is a good preventative method, especially before handling food. 
Well, back here in Greene County, the Springfield Greene County Health Department is offering vaccines for those who are uninsured or underinsured. You can get vaccines through walk-in visits on Wednesdays from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Herald Bench Building on East Chestnut Expressway. You can also make an appointment by calling 417-864-1658. The funding for these free vaccines will last through September 15th. For more, head on over to our website. That's OzarksFirst.com. Rounds of storms have been coming through the Ozarks over the last few days, and while there has not been much severe weather, one Taney County family is thankful no one was hurt after their home was struck by lightning. The Western County Fire Protection District was called to a home near the line of Stone and Taney County, where they found a large two-story home with smoke and flames coming from the roof. Firefighters forced entry and found fire on the second floor. They were able to get to the flames and get them under control in about 30 minutes. The fire and smoke caused heavy damage to the house, but no one was home at the time. Nixa Utilities will soon start using a phone notification system to remind customers of past due accounts. Customers will have the choice to get notifications by phone, call, or text message. Nixa Utilities says that to ensure you're talking to them and not a scammer, Remember, Nixie Utilities calls are always made by an automated system. They will never ask for payments in the form of gift cards. Scammers will pressure you into making the payment right now, but Nixie Utilities will remind you to pay in person, online, or tell you to hang up and call a different number. New at 9 tonight, Senator Roy Blunt was in town to discuss women in business. He was at the women's conference put on by SCORE to help women grow their small businesses. During his closing remarks, Blunt pointed out the several women on his team and wanted to make sure people knew that he supports women in business. Most, most jobs are started by small business. Not every small business makes it every time, but by the end of, uh, end of that process, usually everybody who's willing to stick with it figures out how to make either their business work or the business that they discover while they're, while they're being an entrepreneur work. Blunt also talked about mental health and gun regulation. When asked why he brought that up at the business conference, he said it's because women tend to make most of the decisions regarding health care. Well, in local interest tonight, Springfield hopes to combat its doctor shortages by attracting Mizzou medical students. More than 100 students visited town today to see Springfield's medical facilities. Mark Costley, the interim associate dean of MU's Springfield Clinical Campus, says he hopes this trip results in more future doctors. Costley says Springfield's hospitals are in need of, are in need of doctors and they need medical students to be interested in their facilities. Both systems in, in Springfield are recruiting, you know, primary care specialists. We just, we don't have enough physicians. We know nationally that um, as the older workforce is leaving, we're probably not replacing enough from below, and that's the reason everybody's trying to increase their class sizes, and that's the reason this is important for us, and it's very important for Springfield in that we get these students here. Moving on to weather now, Beth, our highs today are kind of cool compared to what we have had in the past few days. Yeah, yesterday our high was 94 degrees and today here in Springfield we only topped off at 82 degrees thanks to plenty of cloud coverage and scattered showers and storms. This will be the same tomorrow and through the weekend as well. We'll do that and talk about more rain chances right after the break. You're watching Ozark's 